Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Born Pretty Summer Mints and Cherry Blossom Stamping Polishes and I'm going to start off with Neltique's Formula 2 and the KL Polish from her Zodiac series called Cancer. It's just a gray cream, nothing fancy, but I was in the mood and I loved this polish. I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. I was really impressed with this one and it makes me even sadder that they're going out of business because this was a one coater and you guys know I like never ever do one coaters. This is a one coater and I'm going to do one coat and that's going to be it. The brush is fantastic and the formula leveled out just beautifully. Now, I get paid by KL Polish to say that. I'm telling you from personal experience that's how I feel beautiful. I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down so we can do some playing with some stamping polishes. Very excited. That glossy top cut over that just looks so good. Such a clean manicure already. Of course I'm going to go jazz it up with some stamping. I am going to try to cap this little tiny free edge here. <laughs> And hi, Woody. How you doing? Gotta help me clean up this mess going on. So there it is. Very nice and clean. I'll be using the Born Pretty BP25 plate today. It's an oldie. And here is Summer Mints, Born Pretty Stamping Polish, and Cherry Blossoms. I was sent these for review, so I will have a link down below. I don't make any money off of it, but if you're interested, there will be a link down below. I am putting on my Burt's Bees with my little uh, elf brush and I'm going to get them ready for some stamping. So I've decided to do kind of a smush stamp. I guess that's what you call them. It's been a while since I've done one. I'm actually doing that on my thumb, my middle, and my ring finger. I, no, maybe. I don't know. No, I'm going to do it on my pinky. So I'm going to end up doing like solid colors on my ring finger and my pointer finger. And I'm cleaning that stamper off with some lint roller action. I'm going to use this other image. This is the reason why I bought this plate was this girl in her dress I had to have this plate just for that image. So there is the summer mints. Gorgeous. And I'm going to clean that plate off with some pure acetone. And then I'm going to go in with that cherry blossoms. Because I wanted you guys to see how it looked, you know, on its own. Not just and my smushiness. But I wanted to show how they both looked. They both look really good. They show up really well over that gray. I'm cleaning up with a little piece of tape here and everything's coming up just great because I remembered the Burt's Bees. And I'm going to do a couple little swipes here with my cleanup brush and some acetone. I am going to top this with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat real quick. Let that dry down and then I will be applying my regular top coat. Today I'll be using the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. I'm going to seal this all in and make it all squishy looking, all shiny and glossy, glass like. So there we go. I do have a swatch photo coming up here very soon. But I would love to hear what you think about this manicure. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. I want to thank you for watching, as always. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.